Satan tells me I'm a child of God. Amen. Even though what I tell myself sometimes, I'm still a child of God. Amen. Even when somebody tells me something, I'm still a child of God. Even when I feel bad and I fall on my face, I'm still a child of God. Because positionally, God sees me as holy. And, and we look back, and, and sometimes you can recover. Mm -hmm. And sometimes God allows you to recover. Amen. But there are a lot of people today who haven't recovered. Amen. They commit a crime, or they do something, they get them in trouble, and for the next 20 or 30 years, they're, 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 they're imprisoned by their own circumstances Mercy. or by their authority. So how does a young person stay on the straight and narrow? I think we know what that means. How did, how did they do that? <clears throat> well, Daniel was a teenager in 6, uh, 12, from 586 B.C. 586 B.C. He was a teenager, about 17 years of age. And his country was overrun by another country. Israel was overrun by Babylon. <clears throat> And Daniel and about 200 of, their fr of his friends were taken into captivity about 900 miles away from home. And they were stripped of their identity. They, 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 were, they were told that they couldn't speak their native language. They were told that they couldn't dress the way they normally would dress. They were told that they, they had to change their names. And they were told that they had to eat a certain diet. And they were told that they would be slaves for the rest of their lives. Now, here's a teenager. And so it was no hope in terms of him uh, seemingly uh, uh, ever getting back to the prominence of his family that he wanted to. And so how did he stay focused on God during that time? When he had been stripped of his identity, he had been taken away from his home, uh, given false gods to worship, even changed his name. How did he stay focused? How did he stay focused? And the Bible says, Daniel said, as a teenager, this is what he said. Daniel chapter 1, verse 8. But Daniel purposed in his heart. That word purpose means to commit. Daniel made a commitment to himself, his heritage, and his God, that I'm going to follow the way that I have been taught. Have mercy. Have mercy. I'm going to follow the teachings of my mom, have my mercy. dad, mm -hmm. my country, and my God. Thank you, Jesus. And so, what happens when you purpose in your heart to follow God? Number one is that God will give you wisdom to defeat Satan. Thank you, Jesus. When you purpose in your heart, now, when you decide, I'm going to follow the teachings of my family and my God and my uh, church. I'm going to follow the teachings of Jesus. I'm going to commit to that. Mercy. Now, remember, his conditions were not good. He was a slave, taken from home, abandoned, uh, not abandoned, but enslaved, and, and, and put in a, a sort of a, a, a camp where he couldn't do anything but what they wanted him to do, so he was sort of imprisoned within their society, but he still had his memory of who God was. Have mercy, have mercy. And so when you make a commitment to God, God will give you wisdom to defeat Satan so that Satan does not destroy you. Only God. Timothy, Paul uh, writing in, 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 uh, to Timothy, and Paul told Timothy, Timothy, I know you're young, you're just a teenager, but you got to flee from your youthful lust. Have mercy. Well, how do you do that? God gives you wisdom. Mm -hmm. Now, wisdom is not knowing uh, what to do. It's doing what to do. Have mercy. All of us know what to do. Yeah. So I'm not asking God what's wrong and what's right. I already know what's wrong and what's right. How many of you don't know what's wrong and what's right? So wisdom is doing what's wrong, what's and right, mercy. rather than what's wrong. And, and that's and, and that's what you gotta ask God for. You know it's not right to 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 uh, uh, smoke a joint. 
You know it's not right to drink and drive or text while you're driving. You know that. You gotta have wisdom. It's not knowledge that we're lacking. It's only God will give send you positive people in your direction. Now I know there's bad people out there, but this is what God will do for you. This is what God will do for you. How many of you want some good friends? You seek God and God will send you some good friends. You think there's nobody out there. Yes, there are some good people out there. And this is what happened to, to uh, Daniel. He was there. And he decided to purpose in his heart by himself. And all of a sudden, he had three friends that God sent him. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. So God sent him three friends, and the Bible says this. But please test your service for ten days. And Daniel said, give us nothing but vegetables. So he had good friends. He couldn't have done it by himself. Now, Daniel was away from home. But he couldn't have done all of that by himself. God sent him three friends. Now, about 200 of them did the wrong thing. But he had three friends to support him. The thing is that if you purpose in your heart to do good, God will send good people by you. you do that. Then thirdly, and we're running through here, God will give you strength to overcome temptation. God will not only give you wisdom, when you purpose in your heart, he will not only send positive people out of you. How many of you need some positive friends? People that won't pull you down. People that will call you on the phone and, and encourage you. Well, commit yourself to God. And you start getting phone calls. Thank you, Jesus. I guarantee you that. I don't know how he does it, but I guarantee you he will. When Paul was in prison, God sent Luke by. Barnabas. When Barnabas, when, when Paul committed himself to God, God sent Barnabas. Uh, so how did he do it? I don't know, but God knows what you need. Amen. I always tell young girls and young guys, if you commit yourself to God, God will send you a husband or a wife. But you got to commit first. And then lastly, uh, if you commit to God, he will increase your faith. He will increase your faith. Because I know how many of us need more faith. Yeah, he will increase your faith. Um, Daniel said to the people, just give us water and vegetables uh, to drink and uh, watch what God will do. And after 10 days, they look better than the guys that eat the fish and grits. And they just had faith that God would do it. So the Bible tells us in Romans 10, 17, faith comes by hearing. And hear it by the word of God.